Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to understand some formulas for the loss of energy or heat due to friction. These losses are also considered as the major losses. In this video, we are going to understand the darcy wiesbach formula with the help of diagram. Now, if we observe the diagram, here is the pipe in which the fluid is flowing from right hand, left hand side towards the right hand side direction. So, what is the direction of velocity? So, here the direction of velocity is in the same direction of the fluid flow. So, we have to show here that is the velocity towards the right hand side direction. Now, if we observe here is the diameter D of the pipe. And at inlet of the pipe, we will consider the section 1, 1. And at outlet of the pipe, we will consider the section 2, 2. Now, in between the section 1 and 2, there is the length of pipe that is L. Now, why there is the friction? So, when the fluid is flowing through the pipe, the fluid is in contact with the pipe surface. And there is the friction and due to this friction there are the energy losses or there is the loss in head. So I have shown here the friction which is in the opposite direction of this fluid flow that is with the help of this capital F. Now we will move for the formula. So here darcy wiesbach formula for loss of head due to friction. So for head I will use here the letter H. And it is because of friction. So to the base we have to write here F. So HF is equal to 4FLV square by 2GD. So D is the diameter of pipe in meter. Then V is the velocity of flow in meter per second. Then L that is the length of pipe in meter. Now F is the coefficient of friction which is the function of Reynolds number. So if in question F is that is the coefficient of friction is not given directly then we have to first calculate the Reynolds number and then we have to decide what is the range of this Reynolds number and then only we have to calculate this F. So how we can write this Reynolds number? So Reynolds number R E is equal to V into D by nu. So nu is the kinematic viscosity. Now if we observe here this V and D that is velocity as well as diameter. So that is given and what is nu that is kinematic viscosity having unit meter square per second. So that is also given in the exam and by using this we have to take calculate the range of Reynolds number. So it's the standard unit is meter square per second. But sometimes this kinematic viscosity is given in stroke. So one stroke is equal to one centimeter square per second. So how to convert into meter it into meter square per second? That is we have to multiply here with 10 raised to minus 4. That is 1 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per second. Again, this kinematic viscosity is also equal to mu by rho. So what is this mu? So mu is the viscosity in Newton second per meter square. So this is the standard unit but sometimes this viscosity is given in poise. So 1 poise is equal to 1 by 10 Newton second per meter square. Now what is this rho? That is the density of fluid. So density of fluid that is standard unit is kilogram per meter cube. Now when the specific gravity of fluid is given then we can calculate here the density that is specific gravity multiplied by 1000. So we have to first calculate the Reynolds number and we have to decide its range. So when this Reynolds number is less than 2000 then we have to use the formula for calculation of F is equal to 16 by RE. And that is when this RE is less than 2000 then we can say it is the laminar flow. And when this Reynolds number is in between 4000 to 10 raised to 6. Then we have to use F is equal to 0 0.079 by R e raised to 1 by 4. And it is for the turbulent flow. So this formula for F will depend upon the Reynolds number. So this, this is the range that we have to decide. Now sometimes the in question velocity is not given directly. 
but here the discharge or rate of flow q is given in kilogram per meter cube now when q is given then from the diameter we can calculate the area that is pi p is in circular cross section so area is equal to pi by 4 d square and when we calculate area then q by a is equal to v so we can easily calculate the velocity now what is the power required to maintain the flow so because of friction there is the loss of energy or loss of heat so what is the power required so how to calculate it so it depends upon the head loss due to friction so what is the formula here that is rho density g that is 9.81 that we have to use that value then q that is the rate of flow multiplied by hf that is rho g q hf is the formula to calculate the power required to maintain the flow and when we use this then we will get the answer in watt so if we want this answer in kilowatt then we have to divide here with 1000 and then we will get the answer in kilowatt so these are the formulas that are important and when you study these formulas in detail then you can solve any type of question for the calculation of head loss due to friction.